But you can't. You're not gonna get Zayden. You, you, have, you have to. Like. Is it good? Yeah. It's okay. Walid will just cut out the first part. Don't end it. Don't end it. You're gonna move it. I'm playing Walid. I love it. Recording right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Salam alaikum, guys. My name is Ahmed Ali from Shabab Sab. My name is Hassan Aish from Loma Gang and Omar Aish from uh, Shawarma Boys. And welcome back to Week 4's podcast. Today we're going to be talking about what happened in Week 4. We're going to ask our special guests a few questions and then we're going to go on to our predictions. So let's just dive in. So today we have Zay Dunlop from my team as our special guest. Hello. Hello. Hello, bro. How are you? Hello. Zay. And we also have another special guest too. He's from Omar's team. His name is Doomy. Alright, so let's just dive right into it guys. First game we had Loma Gang versus Team Grandpa. 34 to 33. That was uh that was a close game. One point games are always interesting games. Probably the best game this this week. I mean, it, was, it was one of the most tiring games for me. Uh, like playing man was really tough. Yeah, I didn't like it, but yeah. we pulled it. It was by one point. Defense was uh, was something serious, but also Team Grandpa hustled really hard to get that dub. Omar Alan got a pick. The new traded the player got a, got a pick, and that was a big thing because he's really overrated, underrated. I mean, so he's really um, he did good. And then um, Omar Alain got a mask on Turkey yeah. and Omar Al Yusuf. Yeah, yeah. That's something serious. I don't know how that happened. It was on fourth down, too. Like, our defense needs to have some work on it. Yeah. It was a straight perfect ball. Yeah. Omar Alain is right. underrated and he's working wonders. Now I know why uh, Muhammad Alain made that trade with the help of Ramon. You see that <laughs> after he caught that, he just comes out and just starts, you know. I know. You get it. It's, it's like an overhyped pick last week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, that's, that's, that's I mean, gotta celebrate, man. Yeah, that was a good play. It was, it was a really close game. Falah was throwing some shaky throws that game. But he actually made that up with some two rushing touchdowns. Yeah, he made the rushing touchdowns. Uh, and he made a uh, two right? Yeah, he did. He did throw um, an interception, though, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, that was one number of Alain and Alam was, uh, was running some rushing touchdowns too. He made some good plays. Yeah. He was doing really good. So overall, 34-33, one point game. It was really close. And honestly, in these kind of game, kinds of games, it's just the time that's your enemy. You really can't do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's move on to the second game. We have Shabab Asep versus Sand Ninjas. 27-20. to 20. Yeah. We were up uh, by, by a touchdown. I mean, yeah. man, Sand Ninjas, like, come on, Omar. That, 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 that should have been an easy dub for you guys. <laughs> should have been easy. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. They, they missed I'm, uh, I'm going to get killed after this. <laughs> no, what happened was, okay, we put up a good fight. I'm being straight honest. If, uh, what's his name? What was his name? Um, if Malik and, um, who's the other guy? If Malik and Paul showed up, it would have been a hell of a lot of a yeah. challenge yeah, for us. The... We, we would have, it would have yeah. been a bigger challenge for us. But and we thought Hamza, Hamza was gonna show up, but he came up. He came a little late to that game. When we saw him, we were like, "Oh man, we need to step up our game." He's a yeah, good player. Yeah. So, um, with they, I think we mainly won just because of those two key players that were missing. But I mean, like I said, it was a team effort game. Everybody put in effort, and that's why we won. And then Alain, Alain, I mean, Alain is a shaky ref. 
Yeah, okay. Shit. Rumors are that yeah. he got paid by Omar to you know make some calls, like oh, some yeah. cheap calls. He was paid. Yeah, he was yeah. I mean, yeah. is it confirmed though? We'll yeah. find out in the highlights. Find yeah, out. The, the younger league is it for you? Just stick to the other. <laughs> Sorry. And then there was Zay Dunnock's touchdown. Oh yeah. yeah. First touchdown of the week. How did it feel? How did it feel? Exciting. Yeah, exciting. 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 You didn't celebrate. You just played it off. After you got the Where's that Fortnite very celebration, man? Yes. Dave is a very humble man. Very humble. Man. And then I made a few uh, clutch conversions. I think I made two. I made a two pointer and a one pointer. Honestly, um, if we didn't have those, um, I think it would have been like a close game. So I really had to step in my game. I was like, you know what? I need to get this two pointer. So I connected with all, uh, with Ibrahim. Ibrahim saw me open. He threw it kind of low, but I go for it. And I got that. So. Did you get? Did you and uh, were like your team and Ibrahim have like some problems during the game? Like mainly like offensive defense. Offensive wise, we were doing great. I, I don't think we had any problems offensive wise. It's um, defensive wise. A bad. I was playing um, defense. I think I blocked up a bad a few plays. A bad yeah. is just a big play. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's big, so like. He'll be, he get, he plays aggressive and he gets his hands all over me, so I can't really yeah. block him. Yeah, it's uh, you know, he's not the fastest, but like he, he he's big and he can carry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He can. He's a I mini Wendy. Pretty much. <laughs> he's a mini Wendy. Yeah, and yeah, um, something else about a bad a bad was talking bad trash. Oh. You gotta work on your sportsmanship. Bro. Hey, hey, guys! Remember, this league is is a friendly league. We're, we're not supposed to uh, like have any bad things happen. You know? Ibrahim was getting kind of heated. I saw it in his eyes. He was trying to just like calm down and just let it pass, but he didn't because you were talking all that trash. You need to, you need to keep it, keep it friendly. It's all just the game. Just, just remember. That. Just remember two technicals equal suspension for the game. Oh, shit. All right, so our third game we have showing my boys in Golden Eagles, 32 to 22. God, what happened? Just talk to us about it. Um, so I mean, basically the first half we got into the Golden Eagles heads easily. Yes, sir. I remember. Yeah. I remember. The freak was playing pretty shaky. I'm not gonna lie. He was playing pretty shaky at QB. He threw two picks, right? Yeah. Speaking of Tofik, he actually got injured. Yeah, he got Jimmy injured that game. The <laughs> <laughs> he got injured. Yikes. Man, that's. Uh... Hopefully, inshallah, he'll uh, heal up. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah. The first half, I remember I saw Khalil playing a few plays QB. And and I was like, the, yeah. the first, the first game part when the Golden Eagles had the ball, Dofik threw the ball deep, and Khalil, he just caught that. Oh, that was the very first play of the game. Yeah, he, and it was just a TD. You know? I'll hold up to that. Yeah, and we had to just adjust uh, very quickly on that defense. In the first half, they were playing more. They couldn't, they couldn't stop Vizzies from catching the ball and just running straight out. Because we're throwing those books like this. But we got to talk about who would be the better QB. Honestly, Seriously. five passing touchdowns. Yeah, Nad. Yeah, Nad. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. He's a better QB than you. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry to say it. I think your Nad knows already. <laughs> I actually talked to Yanel about it. I was like, so what do you think about Dewey being a better QB? He said, I'm not going to deny it. I think he is. It's just that I felt obligated to play QB since I was a captain. But, um, That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but, and then, and then he said, um, after I after I saw what Dewey did, I think we're going to keep him. I, and I think I'm a better wide receiver anyway, so yeah, it's true. just going to work that's out. True. So I think we're going to have to see you guys in the finals then. Mm, but yeah. Uh, hey, what about us? Come on. You're out of the picture. <laughs> it's out. It's, it's, it's over. Us. It's over for you guys. Uh, you guys are playing, playing man. You guys are playing man. How am I doing this podcast? <laughs> it's out, bro. It's over. It's done. But anyway, speaking of uh, Golden Eagles, um, the no players overrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh but it was think of the Golden Eagles second half towards the end they were actually like playing their best uh that time. That's when Noah was, got uh, his hands on the ball too. Noah playing QB, <laughs> rushing all the way to the end zone. That was a big play. And then Khalil got pick six too. Right? Yeah, he got a pick six. Yeah. Yeah. Pick. Khalil got a pick six. Yeah. Hey, at least he threw five T D I mean that 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 comes the one pick six. Oh yeah, it did bounce off of Omar's hand and then it landed in his. Uh, but, yeah, yeah. The, the second half it changed up because Nadim told him to play Yes, bro, so without him, without so, him, oh yeah, my god. So because 
Yeah, so they're playing zone. They start, they started getting two rushers. And they, they had they had two rushers, and then Aziz couldn't run in routes, so they they, they really couldn't get that. Yeah, yeah. They were rushing two also, so I had to go block. They see, I had to block as well. But uh, yeah, yeah, you got the ball out real quick though too. So that was like I, I keep getting guys open. Yeah, the freak has such a good team. It's just that, like, they're in over their heads. They're just coming in like, you know what, we're going to win this. And then, and then they just choke, you know. Nobody can help this team but God. <laughs> Golden Eagles need God. I'm sorry to say it. Golden Eagles need God. Uh, well, I mean, at least Newark was all right. This, like, he said that, like... Newark was, was actually happy. really happy. happy. But that's good sportsman. That's yeah, good sportsmanship. That's definitely good sportsmanship. Yeah. yeah. All right, and uh, we got to talk about this. I'm sorry, we got to talk about this. Tokir overrated? <laughs> We gotta talk about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In the comments section, y'all were getting up on Tokir. I wanna find out what happened. Especially just, the older guys. I'm reading Tokir's overrated. Tokir's overrated. Tokir's overrated. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? See, I just watched it. He goes, Tokir's overrated. Oh my lord. Everybody is like, everybody's on Tokir's case. I don't know why. But I mean, uh, is he overrated? You think he's overrated? I don't know, man. It's. He's been good, really. Like he, he honestly was good, but I don't know. He just needs to work on his speed. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. He can catch. Just he, he needs the speed. He needs that connection with the knife. That's all I got, gotta say. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. Don't trip on it, so cute. We still have the whole season to prove these guys wrong. Don't trip Actually, on it. Actually, one one regular season week next week. So no, uh, it's till week six. So we have week five, we actually, and week six. No, no, we no. actually have, no. Yeah, till yeah, week six. We have week five in the playoffs. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's week five and then the playoffs. I guess we have two more games. Then. Is that two more games? <laughs> Step up your game. Prove these guys wrong before it's too late. And um, um, I also have to talk about this. This is something that I really personally need to talk about. We need new refs. Period. We need new refs. Period. And that, okay. what were you doing? And that, what were you doing? <laughs> Tackling Gennad, that's what I swear, doing. he was wrestling with Gennad while we were playing. He was literally, like, not paying attention. Refs are supposed to be watching the ball in the game 24-7. This guy's messing around with Gennad. Can you explain? Come on, Lord. Uh, How about we go back to where uh, I let miss the... Yes, Hamada could have got that touchdown and you know it. Hamada, oh, yeah, it was an, it was an accidental riff, uh, whistle, whistle. Yes, it was an accidental uh, whistle, yeah. and we would have won by two touchdowns if it weren't for that. Yeah. Come on, and that. And you guys, come on. You guys, Just think about it. If you weren't there that day, we would have won by two touchdowns. Thank you. Gone, you, uh, you should be Adams. thankful that you actually got them, and I just you know, complain that we should have won by two TDs. I mean, yeah, I know, but like, the, it's just like yeah, yeah, dumb I mistakes do. like that. Like, I do it, agree. You know, he, like, sometimes... it, just think about it. Yeah. If he, when he was playing, if he were playing, he'd want a ref that to be take that take the team serious and not mess around yeah, and pay true. attention, right? That's true. If 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 like he saw the ref with met like were, was messing yeah. around, he'd get mad too, right? Yeah. So I get so like he's gotta understand the point that I'm coming from. We could have won by two touchdowns if like he wasn't just messing around. It's yeah. just dumb mistakes like that. Zay, what do you think about getting new refs? Uh, I think it's it you heard the message in <laughs> You heard the message. Zayn himself told you. Oh my god. But you know what? In all seriousness though, we're all here just to have fun. And just enjoy our time, you know, all together. True, you know. Yeah. And um, is it called? You need God. Next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's go to the. Um, we had a Q and A for our special guest here. We we're waiting for to pull that up. Yeah. But it was overall an interesting week. All the games were pretty interesting. Even even the last game we thought was gonna be a blowout to the end. Golden Eagles almost made that comeback. And they did almost, but then when they made that second touchdown, I was like, oh god! And then the, like there was like, like less the than a minute. The time was. This their time enemy. is key. Yep. Time is very key. Um, anyway, so our first Q and A is we have one from. Sorry. Okay, anyway, uh, is Tokir overrated? <laughs> I think we've already answered that question. Is Tokir overrated? Yes. yes. Next question. Actually, actually, 
leave in the comments down below if, if yeah, Poku is overrated. Please. Probably, oh my probably God. most of you will say yes, he is. We're going to find 40 comments. About we'll see. Too. And then about, another about 40 from Tokyo saying no. <laughs> let's just get Sinoj on this podcast. Let's just, let's just get him to go off on Tokyo. <laughs> Honestly. I saw in the car right here, Sinoj was going off on you, Tokyo. I'm sorry to say it. So hey. here is overrated. Hey, Tokyo, period. Tokyo. We're just messing, bro. You know? Well, I mean, we still, you, you think you're so overrated, but okay. we love you, man. We love you. <laughs> Even Kubi. Tokyo is overrated. Anyway. Um, most improved player. Oh, Who man. do you think, Dumi? Most improved. Oh, man. There, there's, there's many players that can be the most improved player. Yeah. If just, you had to choose. If I had to choose. I mean, let, let's just, let's let's not, like, say Tokyo. Because we've, we've already made Tokyo. Let's, let's, besides, God. imagine we wake up so cute. This is supposed to water. Most improved player. Let's see. Don't do it, man. Uh, no, 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 I'm asking. I can't. I can't. Come on, Louie. Don't worry. No one's gonna kill you. <laughs> no one's gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, out of your opinion, what do you think? Am I the one gonna get bashed last season? He's good every season. He's not good. So that's really a compliment to you, Hamada. Hamada wins. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, you think me? You're pretty. You, you proved a lot. Yeah, you did. did. Honestly, I just want to say defensive side. I'm, I'm not yeah, saying. I'm I not said saying this. I said this to him player. earlier. Short of boys is built on two strain. The rest of the team offensively, and then it's just Omar defensive. <laughs> if you leave Omar by himself on defense, it's over. Yeah. It's over. You can't leave Omar by himself on defense. Yeah. It's, I mean, a you could. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Who do you think, Zay? Come on, like, you gotta you got at least figure someone. Someone that you think Most that start that start off a little bad, but then now he's really good. Who do you think? Okay, that is a really hard if, question. If I'm gonna have to say, okay, if I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna say Zayd. Yo, Zayd Muhammad's a big one. Yeah, bro, like he was so underrated. He, I think he was our last rounder. Yeah, I think he was our last round. He, he, he was a free agent. And we free picked agent. him up. We were like, you know what? Should we, we should put our faith in this guy. This guy's pretty good. I've seen him play basketball. You know, he's, he's pretty athletic. Now I just figured out he could play football too, not just basketball. I'm really proud of Zayn. Zayn's doing excellent. Excellent. He's like, he's a key player on our team. And like, he got, he got, he got a few touchdowns? How many touchdowns did he have? Uh, two, right? Two or three touchdowns. Might have been two. Let me double check. Got the stats right here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this week nope. he didn't get any, but I'm pretty sure on um, last week he got some. Yeah, he got he got some touchdowns previous weeks, but he did get most yardage. Point is, he did good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Our next question. This is this one's pretty interesting. Uh, best wide receiver duo in the league. Wide receiver duo. Oh, Talk about QB and wide receiver. I, uh, it's a wide receiver. I, I think, like, you know how, like, well, you know how, receivers. like, I think it's like Andy Dalton and AJ Green. I, yeah, yeah, I think it's, I think oh. it's quarterback and wide receiver. That's kind of tough because. So like, I'll tell you one thing: it is not Ibrahim and Hamad. No. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'm gonna say it could be between. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Fanah no. and Omar Yusuf. Fanah, Omar Yusuf, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. No, definitely them. Like Fanah, he, like, I mean, this week he didn't show it, but. Before he threw some good deeps, and then Omar Yusuf he always came out top and gained the ball. That, that's all I'm gonna say. That's good. What do you think? I mean, last season. No, 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 no. Talk about this season, buddy. Talk about this season. <laughs> maybe, Talk about this season. Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know if Omar Yusuf. How about you? Omar, could be, could be. For me, wow, that's really a tough one. I have another one too. I have another one too. Okay, next guy. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I think it's really tough. One. I think I'm gonna get caught for saying this. Omar, Ahmed, and Hamza. Maybe? Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hamza is pretty good. I mean, make he, make, he makes some good catches against us. I'm not gonna lie, he's exactly. a good player. Yeah. And we had some trouble locking him up. He's really athletic and he can jump. I'm not gonna lie, he's a good player. So we like um, advice to the next team that's gonna play him: put your most athletic man on him. If you're gonna play man, if you're gonna play zone, pray. Just pray. All right. All right. Well, 
guess that's it for now. Yeah. So uh, that'll end our Q and A, and we're doing predictions. Yeah, let's move on to predictions. Do you have the schedule? Uh, First game, Loma Gang and Shawanma Birds. Ah, that's gonna be an interesting one. <laughs> It'll be an interesting okay, one. The Aish Brothers. In my opinion, I think we're gonna take this though. Oh really? I, Get off the podcast. I, I, Get I, off the podcast. I, I, I am just saying earlier. Just saying earlier. Okay, just I'm because though. Just because. No, just because, no, just no, because no, it's no, your team. No, because uh, I mean the fact that you know he's gonna be an outside receiver. He's fast. But they have a serious defense. You can't yeah, lie about that. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna convince my team to switch from man to zone. We need it. We need Take it. Take action on your team. We need it. There you go. Zone would really help you with this team because look really at their offense. It. Look at their offense. Hold up. I wanna say Zaid, who do you think is gonna win this game? Loma game or Shorna Bulls? And, and you too, Ahmed, who do you guys think? Zaid first three for three. Oh my god. I see. Honestly, I see. This, this guy, is turning, this guy. Turning personally, the way the way I see it, I think one of the three teams are going to make it to the ship. Us, them, or them. All right? <laughs> so really, um, I honestly think that... It's a Loma, it's, it is. Loma Gang is kind of scary, no lie. So for me, but honestly, Shawarma Boys is a good, is a good team too. So... Yeah. Honestly, want Loma Gang to win this one. I'm sorry because if we face them in the chip, like if it is us and them, yeah, I have a good feeling we can beat them. But you, you guys are pretty well, I mean, good. When you guys versus them, they didn't even have any use of them. I mean, yeah, no, it's not. It's not about who thinks it win. It's not about who you want to win. It's about who. Like, who I think my, my money's on the Shawarma Boys. I'm sorry. My money's on Shawarma Boys. I think they're going to Alright, so we got Loma Gang, Shawarma Boys, Loma Gang. The way they. Shawarma Boys, Shawarma Boys. Actually, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. haven't said anything. Honestly, Wait. I don't want to say. I, I have no idea. It's honestly just. Pretty hard. You're a tiebreaker, Almost. You gotta say it. I can't. How about this? People in the comments. Who do you, who do you think? Who do you think is gonna win? And for any any uh, team we say, you know, that are gonna verse each other in week five, who who do you guys think is gonna take the dub for the first game? Okay. Anyway, moving on. Second game, we got Golden Eagles versus San Ninjas. Ooh, okay, this is probably easy. I'm gonna go with San Ninjas. San Ninjas. San Ninjas. San Ninjas. The San Ninjas. Fake, the fake, San Ninjas. Is, the fake is the fake is pretty sad. He's pretty sad. He's, he's been doing. I said this earlier. Nobody can help this team but God. Both of you need God. All right, next. Well, man, no, 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 no. He didn't hear from me. He didn't hear from you. Well, no. I think. Wait, wait. Who did you say? I said honestly. Uh, sorry. Sand ninjas. Sand ninjas. Yeah. So we got four sand ninjas. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on gold eagles. Hey, you guys got a follower right here. Hey, I'm hey, sorry. Hey. I'm no, sorry. No, no, wrong. No, no, wrong. No, no. I, I believe Noah can be a good QB. He just ne they just yeah. never gave him a chance. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him at the end when Noah has QB. QB. If you're gonna have Kanila as their wide receiver and Noah has their QB, it's probably gonna be a dangerous, yeah, dangerous game. But yeah, the rumor person, has it. The rumor, person, yeah. rumor has it that Noah is gonna be playing QB for that team. Yeah. That's something that's gonna be really shaky. Like, like if you were just to, like to take off when they were rushed, that'd be excellent. But yeah. throwing wise, I have I not know, seen. I don't, I don't, well, I don't know. I season, can't say, but that's something that's shaky. Since yeah. he has been on my team for the first season in NFL, I don't think he'd be a good quarterback because he's not used to it. He doesn't have the experience. I don't think he knows anything. Let's not talk trash. Only time can tell because we really don't know. Yeah, we yeah. really don't know. Yeah. We'll, have to, we'll have to see. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Third game. Yeah, Shabab is seventh. First team grant. Oh snaps! <laughs> Aleb's gonna take that L. Yeah, we'll the, 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 the champion is one and three now, right? One and three. One and three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're one, one and three. three. The champion is one and three. Muhammad Aleb is an excellent quarterback and an excellent team captain. I I watched their game. I I'm sorry to say this, but I think it's the wide receivers' fault. Mm -hmm. I mean, there aren't a lot of people on that team that have hands. I'm not gonna lie. That's true. But I mean, you gotta remember, they do get the wait, ball. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta remember that Alan, he can run. Mm -hmm. Like he, he ran can. through our defense. If, if we rush him, but Sammy though, Sammy, if we oh. put him on rusher, 
That'd be an interesting, interesting game to watch. It'd be really entertaining to the sideline. Yeah. Because we have fast versus fast. We saw how he played uh, in week three, so yeah, we'll see. What so wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, continue, continue. My bad. So when I was saying when the when the Alliance team do get the ball, when his teammates do get the ball, they can actually run and they can you know get some yards and make plays. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. So do me. Who do you think? Who do you think? I'm putting my money on uh, Shibab and Seth. Shibab and Seth. Yes. yes. You? Team Grandpa. Team Grandpa? Team Grandpa. Oh. All the way. You? You want to get bullied? Do not listen to this kid. The guy's voting your own team. Right? No, no, wait. Zay didn't say anything. Zay, what do you say? You, uh, you, got, you got one teammate right here. If, if, if you say the wrong if you answer. Say, if you say anything hey. Bishop, I've said it. There should only be one answer. There should only be one answer. There should. Why are you contemplating this? Why are you thinking about the answer? The answer should be in your head. No, 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 no. Hey, just think about it. If you were not on Shabab Sent. Yeah. Who do, you, who do you think? Who do you honestly like? Just think players. about, like, our offense, their offense, their defense, our defense. Who do you think? Okay. Oh, okay. So we, I like this one right so here. We, so we got like three one. Shabab seven, one team grandpa. Huh. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't decide. If, if I dance... Receivers can't communicate with him, yeah, then yeah. we're gonna have to say Shabbat That's why right. right. okay. our defense can lock oh, them yeah. up, and you guys know it. You guys know it. Our safeties, man, our safeties are crazy. We have Zayd Muhammad, Hamada, Ibrahim. We have me, we have Nadim, Sammy rushing. That's, that's like, that's a dream squad. That's a dream squad. <laughs> dream squad is the reality. And so our offense. Is. Our offense, you guys saw it for yourselves. So I'm not saying it just because it's my team. I'm saying it from like a pers uh, like a another person's perspective, perspective, someone from on the sideline. Yeah. Like if you watch us play, like, and we're the first seed, so really like, yeah, it's a it's a hard decision. I mean, That's the, true. you have the champ versus some noobs, basically. You could call us noobs because I'm their captain. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry. Oh, um, okay. you could call <laughs> us noobs. Only time will tell. Exactly. Only, Only time, time can tell. tell. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna make some plays, and we're gonna come back. So, so yeah, so I hope you have a game plan. That's team all I'm gonna say. Team Grandpa's receiver, uh, Omar Alan is like has good hands, but he's Snaps. not, but he's not I'm, very fast. Honestly, True. Omar Alan is probably number one receiver. He, he Our linebackers true. will he, take care of him. No, he, is, he is fast for his size. Yeah, for so his size, did. but not like fast compared to other people. That's true. 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 But he is a like, number one receiver. For yeah. sure. We can, yeah. On defense, um, Omar Alan likes to go short, not really long. So our safeties won't have to worry about that. Our line, our linebackers have to worry about that. So me, Saad, uh, Adi, Benny, and Nadine have to worry about that. Yeah. And most of his players go short. I think only Mo goes long. So. Yeah. And so basically, mostly it's gonna be a short game, short passes, short yardages, and stuff like that. Yeah. But on their on their side, our side. Time will tell. Alright, so I guess that wraps it up, um, uh, we'll get the highlights out to you guys on Thursday. See you inshallah, it depends on my schedule. Yeah. Highlights, highlights won't be too long, I know we've been kind of sleeping on that, but I mean, you gotta give props to Hassan for editing. That's some, that's some serious that. editing. It took a while because of the editing. You guys gotta, you guys gotta say that. Oh, we're gonna play with the weed or something? Oh, yeah. Play with the weed! We forgot! Okay. Ah. Alright. So, offensive-wise. Offensive-wise. Oh, let's be oh. serious out here. Let's do offensive player of the week and defensive player of the week. Yeah. You wanna start with offense or defense? Let's do offense. Offense? offense all the way. My man, Doomy. I gotta give I'm it to him. I'm just saying it. I gotta give it to him. Yeah. Five. Five, Five passing, passing touchdowns. Touchdown. It's his first week, guys. His first week. Yanel, you made a good option choosing him as your QB, really. You made a good decision. He told me after the game. So one, hey, hey. Pick me up because just in case we're putting Yeah. Well, Not only that, you play a, a yeah, he good He plays really too. good receiver, too. Yeah. yeah. So, so guys, really, he's like an insurance. You guys, you guys, like, you guys lost both of your games, like, Two weeks ago in a row, but then you guys jumped back up this week. We made plays. We made plays. We adjusted and we made plays. <laughs> this week. So Dumi are, is our offensive player of the week. Now our defensive player of the week. I'm gonna give him some stats right here. Gotta see. This week, 
I'm giving it to my man. Guess who it is, guys? Can you guys? I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, gonna, like, I'm not sure. If I was controlling this, I'm on Aisha two picks. Yeah, Two picks. Say do we got it. It's Omar Aish, guys. You got, you got to be like, come on, come on, come on, go. Two picks. Yeah. Who, who else did that good? Who else did that good? Look well, at the stat sheet. You're not gonna find any other uh, picks. Well, there's some picks, but there, there wasn't as much as Omar did. Yeah. It wasn't as much as. It and it wasn't overhyped this time, guys. But, it was overhyped. But we yeah, also okay. have to give. We also have to give credit to the the linebackers for rushing Tofik. Yeah. And that pressure. The rushing game was serious. Yeah, the rushing game was serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they they pressured him that which made him lose the ball to Omar. Hey, shout outs to my boy Daisir for that sack. <laughs> oh, he went crazy. He went crazy when he got that sack. Uh, I remember. Azuz? I remember after. Oh, yeah, and Azuz got that sack too. So. I remember after uh, the game, they see walked up to me. And he was like, and he was like, oh, "Are you going to talk about my sack on the game?" And I was, I'm like, "What?" And I was like, and I was like, I was like, "I got you, bro. I'm gonna I'm talk good about you. I got you." They see it. And they was like, "Stop good about my sack." And I was like, "I got you, bro." Yeah, but that foul, shaky. Yeah. Well, we're gonna forget about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's give it to him this time, guys. All right. Anyway, so that concludes our week four podcast. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check out uh, the, uh, next week's podcast. We're gonna have another special guest, inshallah. We might and have two this time. Could be. Could be. You know, time time is uh, coming in on us, and we're trying to get everybody, trying to get give everybody a chance. You know. Yeah. So we might have. Only time will tell, and um, stay after. Make sure to stay after the games for the halaqa. This week we had a really good halaqa, and we had some mafia pizza. I'm pretty sure most people stayed for that. So uh, I know Zay was like, "Are we gonna stay? Cause I'm hungry." <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't Man, he didn't even want to stay for the halaqa. He wanted to stay for the food. <laughs> Don't forget about that Oh yeah. Yeah. Make sure. Make sure you stay for that. Because Walid is picking two random people to talk about the Hadiths. Yeah. 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 Don't just remember because he's picking two random people. Remember something. Yeah. Alright. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week, inshallah. Salam alaikum. Salam. Alright. What's up? Walid. <laughs> 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 <laughs>